Stay black, black in America. Don't leave, don't go anywhere. Greatest country in the world for a black man or a black woman. Um, I never knew much about this, this Candace Owens. I've seen like a little cuts of things when they, when they say things on, on, on TV. I've seen maybe two or three like cuts when it's, when, it's, when it's kind of about politics or they talk about somebody's point of view. And it make you and it make her seem kind of like um, I don't know weird or something like that. So I never really like like studied or researched. I'm here today in my store. It's um, July the first, two thousand twenty-three. I happened to watch a, a couple of like full things about her speaking. I think she has a podcast which I subscribe to today uh, to YouTube, and, and I watched a, so a couple other things when she was you know on different various talk shows, right? And and I kind of I kind of fell in love with this Candace Owens man. Uh, First of all, she's a uh, she's very articulate. She's a uh, very very attractive. She don't she doesn't wear a bunch of makeup. She don't wear fake hair. She don't wear any of that kind of crap you see a lot of a lot of you know a lot of my sisters are black black and white women doing. Do I have none of that? None of that. <coughs> I looked at her height. She's like five foot five, weighing one twenty one. Amazing, right? One hundred twenty one pounds, which is like pretty much perfect body weight. Um, visually, she looks very attractive, physically, and, 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 you know, body-wise and face-wise. And and I found it you know, not to be weird at all. Her views are not weird, not not crazy. She, she's married, net worth about five million. I mean, what can you not like about her, really? I mean, I mean, you know, the Bible says he who finds a wife finds a good thing and finds favor to the Lord. So her husband definitely found a good wife, didn't he? He found a good wife, and um. I'm just looking at, at her her political views. She had various political views, which everybody has, um, and people are passionate about things and passionate about other things. And I couldn't find a thing that she was saying that would make me think like, oh, I don't like Candace Owens. Oh, I think Candace Owens is uh, uh, delusional. Candace Owens. I, I couldn't see a thing that would make me think that. Everything I saw about her and what she said was a uh, logical thing. I mean, very logical thinker. Again, very articulate. I, I like listening to her voice, man. Very, very sweet, articulate voice. Uh, stays control, well mannered, um, proper. Doesn't get undignified. Just you know the kind of voice you can listen to, man. And uh, I was, I was, I was actually, I was just you know thrown back because I was expecting a lot different than what I seen. And, and what I seen was um, you know precious stuff, man. I, I seen a woman who's a uh, She's up on her politics. Uh, she's uh, she likes who she likes. She supports who she supports. She's trying to broaden um, the political spectrum for everybody, include everybody in there, let people learn things they might not know. Um, like I did not know that the uh, the Black Lives Matter was uh, was run by or, 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 or established by um, black women. First of all, I didn't know that these black women were lesbians. I mean, I didn't know that. I didn't know that all this money that was going to Black Lives Matter, what, what has happened with the money, I don't have no idea what happened with it because I didn't send no money to them, but still I have no idea what happened to it. And the views they have, what they care about. But if you're lesbians, evidently, if you haven't, like, you're not bouncing back and forth. Like, I got customers come to my store, bounce back and forth from, from like, bisexual. I'm with a man today, I'm with a woman tomorrow. You know, I got a baby here. But I love women, I hate men. Then I love men, and I, and I, you know, whatever, man. They bounce back and forth because you know it's their, it's their prerogative. But um, I mean, I saw nothing in what she was saying that didn't make like good sense. I mean, good, good political sense, just good sense in a row. I mean, I say to myself, man, like on, on, on my channel, always say that accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior and repent of your sins. By doing so, you're going to heaven. God sent His only begotten Son to die for the sins of this entire world. And anybody accepting Christ the Lord and say repent of sins is going to heaven because that's the sole purpose of the gospel. To bring, to bring human beings back with God again, to reunite back with God and go to heaven because the hell was made for the devil, okay? That's my first thing. My second thing, man, is uh, I talk about this reparations thing. Some people are on it. Some people are not on it. Some people think you should get it. Should, don't get it. I'm just wanting to think you should get it. I'm thinking if you, a bunch of people work for, for free and didn't get what they supposed to get, then they were given freedom and just send out like animals, okay, you free then, get off my property, get off my land. Or a lot of them stayed there, became sharecroppers and worked on the land and earned a little bit of money. Whatever. Hard life nevertheless. Glad I didn't have to go through that, right? So yeah, I think reparations should be paid. You know, hopefully, hopefully it's done. The third thing on my list is, 
get one, two, three streams of income. Always find a way to make income become self-employed. I'm self-employed. My dad's self-employed. Uh, my son is gonna, my, my son is gonna be self-employed. I mean, I think that's the way. This 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 is America. You, you can become anything you want to become. There, man. Greatest country world for black man or black woman. Sure, you got um, people who are not gonna like you, or they call it racism, or people who are gonna hold you back. But you got evil people everywhere. So what does this mean? You got evil people in the black community. Always say like you know, um, and people get upset upset about cop white cops killing black people and black people killing each other in a in a in a in a, in a, in a super rate. I got pictures of young kids on my wall here. Murders haven't been solved. Little kids I saw grow up and get killed. Nobody making a fuss about that. So I mean, so a team like the me that um, everything is a uh, you know subjective. A white cop kills somebody. Where everybody's in up and on, but. If you got 25 black people killing each other, one white people killing each other, nobody seems to talk about it. So, really, uh, I don't like that. So, uh, and then I got like the, the, the you know, my, my, my other thing is, 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 is multimedia. You know, I want, I want a situation where, 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 you know, you got, a, you know, crime being looked at in a different different kind of way. Where uh, entrepreneurship looking at it in a different type of way. Where the law is being used in a different type of way, you know, to, to build up. Not only just just, just just black America, but the whole society. Because we're only like 12.1% of the United States. I mean, it's not like, you know, kind of, this is the majority. I mean, if black people in this country did what they supposed to do, we could become like super great. I mean, we already looked upon the rest of the world as like the richest black demographic is in America pretty much. I mean, so I'm thinking like, man, everything that I saw and looked at and learned from Candace Owens today is that I like that. I like that little, I like that young lady. She's a... Mine's my daughter. She doesn't. She doesn't wear those fake extensions in her head. She doesn't. Uh, you know, I've seen her a couple of times with the little, little eyelashes on and, and without them on. Her skin looks impeccable, and I'm saying her weight and everything is like beautiful. So, I mean, now that she's the, my age and my daughter, I'm talking about how, how attractive she looks. I'm just stating stating the fact. She's an attractive black woman. Her, her she's proportionate. She she's natural, a natural beauty, and she's intelligent and she's articulate. And there's any more y'all left for my son. I got two sons in that marriage. I like to get them married to somebody. Just like Candace Owens, because Candace Owens is what America should be about. Candace Owens is what make America great. Candace Owens would make a man some wonderful wife and wonderful babies. Candace Owens is somebody that, that gives like would, would give my grandchildren a, a even better le legacy because you know I mean well anyway she's married and taken so you can't get anything. Got I didn't Google whether you got any sisters Candace Owens if you do. Holler back at her, brother. Let me know, cause uh, I, I don't have any grandchildren yet, and both my sons are not married. One thirty four, one thirty. But anyway, um, everything I saw about you, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the way you you were um, able to converse with everybody, and always calm, always, always, uh, always composed. And uh, man, I sure learned a lot about you that I didn't know. So it goes to show you, you don't give a person a time. You just listen to little certain, certain news media cuts. You, you, you think somebody is totally opposite of what they are, but if you give anybody a chance, I guess, which you should give somebody a chance, then I, then I see why then you got 1 million, 1.75 followers on, a, on, on YouTube, almost almost crushing 2 million. I see why you got podcasts. I see why you're on everybody's talk show. I see why you're a stand-up person. So subscribe to my channel, like, and share.